everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I am doing a cloth diaper update to tell you guys all about the diapers I've been using and how I like them. If you do hear any background noise, it is my washing machine going because I am currently washing diapers. So today I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about our cloth diaper journey and where, where we are at so far. So when Magnolia was born, if you don't know, she was born premature. So she was two pounds, 14 ounces. So she was not wearing cloth diapers. Um, and in the NICU, we just thought it was best to just go ahead and use the disposables. The nurses could change them, all that stuff. Then when she came home from the hospital, she had a massive umbilical hernia. And it really got in the way of us being able to use cloth on her when she came home. Though we could fold down like a pre-fold, which we did use pre-folds in the beginning, the covers were really hard to get a good fit because of how big her hernia was. So once her hernia went down, we were able to start using cloth. And we started out using pre-folds and covers and we really, we really liked it, I think. Um, mainly I use them because my husband works and so I'm with her all day. So I'm mainly the one changing her diaper. But, um, the pre-folds I really, really enjoyed. They were easy to use. As she started getting a little bit bigger, she didn't really like them as much because the whole thing got like soaked and she does not like that wet feeling at all. So we didn't really use those for too long, but we ended up using from what, from the beginning, I knew I wanted to use an all in two type of a system because they're cheaper because you don't have to have a whole lot of covers you just need the inserts because you don't have to you don't have to change the covers every time with an all-in two you only have to change the insert and so we are using the buttons diapers and I've really been enjoying it the pattern oh, this is my favorite one I just love this pattern oh, it's so beautiful but it is a double gusset on the leg and it does have snaps so the inserts snap in currently all of my buttons inserts are in the wash but you can also use the best bottom inserts they also work with this diaper so you just snap in you put them on baby when you go to change you just snap it out and snap a new one in i really really like this one it has elastic in the back and in the front you can kind of see that it like dips down in the front and that's really helpful for us um, because of her hernia, which she got repaired. So that's not even an issue anymore. But when it was, that kind of went like right under her hernia and it was perfect. So we have really been enjoying these. We use these mainly during the day when we're at home. If we go out, I like to use a pocket. The pockets tend to be able to hold more so I don't have to change her as often. If she's wearing an all-in-two, I usually change her about every hour to every hour and a half. With a pocket, I can usually go a little bit longer, like two hours. So if we're out and about, it's just a little bit easier on me to be able to not change her every hour. Um, and I have three different kinds. I have Bum Genius. I only have a few of the Velcro, which I actually really like the Velcro. Some people don't like Velcro because they say it wears. I haven't had mine wear at all and she doesn't mess with it. So I really like how fast it is. It's just like, it's pretty much just like a disposable. You just put it on and just boop. And it's really easy. You don't have to worry about, oh, well, which buttons do I put it on? You just put it on. Um, so it's really good for dad, for grandparents, things like that. But I actually really enjoy the Velcro. I enjoy it so much. I looked into like, I know that the Grovia, that Grovia one diaper has those little things that you can put on snaps to make it a Velcro. If anybody knows someone who makes those for a bum genius, or for, for bum genius snaps, cause I do have a lot of bum genius snaps. I would love that to be able to just put something on it to make it Velcro for now when she leaves it alone. And then later on, I can take that off and make it a snap. That would be amazing. The next kind that we have are the Smarty Pants. Um, I really 
The reason why I like these is because it has an opening in the front for the pocket and in the back. So when it comes time to wash, I don't have to take the insert out. I just throw the whole thing in the wash and the insert comes out on its own. I've tried that with the other diapers and they don't seem to come out. And the last diaper, which is actually, I think my favorite pocket one that we have at the moment, and it is Blueberry. I'm not sure if that's still a company or not. It, I, I feel like it might have changed and it could still be Blueberry, but I really am liking the Blueberry. I think I have like three or four of them. These seem to hold the most. And it might be due to what the inside is made of. It's a little bit thicker. It's like a fleece. And it's a little bit thicker than like the Bum Genius, what's on the inside of theirs. But I really like this one. It's nice and wide and it just, it fits her nicely. I really, really like these. So as far as washing, I wash every other day and I use Tide Original. It's the easiest thing to get my hands on and it really, it works great. Um, I do have an HE washing machine, which is not ideal for cloth diapers because they do need a lot of water to get them clean. So what I tend to do, I have a, let me look to see what kind of washer I have. I have a Samsung BRT steam washer. Ooh, fancy, not really, it's like super old. But that's the washer that I have, and what I do is I put all of my diapers in there, um, the inserts, the covers, everything, the wet bag. Oh, I use a wet bag during the day. So this is what I put my diapers in. This is ready to go into the wash, and I will just dump it all in there put everything in the wash and then what I will do is I will put it on heavy duty, hot, cold. For the amount of liquid I use, I use it to the number one for the pre-wash and then to the number four, which for my washer that's full, that's like max, um, in the main compartment. And then I put it on heavy duty, hot, cold, which does and automatically does a pre-wash. And then after that, I do two rinse cycles. So I, and the rinse cycles are really short. Um, they're like, yeah, they're really, really short rinse cycles. So I do that just to make sure that all of the suds are out and they come out really nice and clean. Then what I do is anything with elastic, I do not put in the dryer. So all of the covers, I do not put in the dryer. They all just kind of hang out. What I what I do is I normally just put them on the back of my couch and let them air dry. And then once they're dry, I put them away. So pretty much the only thing that goes in the dryer are the inserts. And I put those on medium heat. I don't use any softeners. You really, you do not want to use any fabric softeners or dryer sheets when you are drying your diapers. So I use, um, I have wool balls that I use for all of my like anytime I do laundry, I don't use softeners or dryer sheets because those chemicals can cause a buildup in your in the drum of your washer and your dryer, and then they can transfer onto your diapers and you don't want that. So we use our wool balls for all of our laundry and I really like them. My mom actually said that she likes them so much that she's gonna get some dryer balls. So far we are really enjoying doing cloth diapers and if you have any questions, I'm not an expert, but I do have fairly good knowledge on cloth diapers. I did work at a cloth diaper store before I had Magnolia, um, like way back when I first moved to Greenville. So yeah, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I can try to answer them the best I can. But I hope you liked this video. If you have a favorite diaper that I did not mention, definitely leave it in the comments below and I will check it out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!